first off, I just want to let you know that I've discovered something. So um, I tended to think that as you went into higher dimensions, and when you would say you're at like a seventh dimensional energy frequency, that that tended to be um, just more loving, that you no longer played out any darkness at all. And what I've understood now is that even when you go up into other dimensions, there's still a polarity. So there's still a light and dark polarity, but it's different. So now we have wars going on, we have aggression, we have a lot of fear, but as you go up, you don't play out the darkness in that way. So there's misunderstandings, there are different opinions and such. Um, contrast is still there. So that's something that I recognize now and I did not understand that before. I thought that once you go into like fifth dimension and above, you no longer had darkness in those dimensions in when you but now that makes a lot of sense so when we talk about extraterrestrials who are in those higher dimensions but still as dark polarized they are still having that polarity that makes a lot more sense now so i just wanted to share that that was something that i came to understand um Recently, I connected with a collective of three beings from the Pleiades who call themselves the, the Aleha. Um, they're personal guides for myself from the ninth dimension. And what they have taught to me is that it is important to connect with energy beings that are of our they, the word they used was family. So they said that they were, we're all family. So we're all oneness, we're all family. However, it is important to connect with the energy frequencies of your star system, your star family. Um, so what that means is that since, since I am a star seed of the Pleiades, it is important for me to make a very strong connection and understand the energies from the Pleiades system. So um, I guess, you know, for, for all of you, it's very important if you understand that you are a star seed of, say, Sirius or Arcturus or, um, you know, Lyran, um, to connect with those frequencies, to connect with those dimensions. Um, they also said since they are the ninth dimension, this is higher than the fifth dimensional uh, frequencies that I have been channeling. So when I was connecting with the Pleiadians, they were of mostly the fifth dimension. And they said that when I channeled the angels, they could go up to the, say the, the 10th, 11th uh, dimension. Um, but most of us, when people are channeling, they are channeling the fifth dimension. And since we are going into the fifth dimension, a very, very um, close to the fifth dimension now, we need to connect with even higher, higher energies, higher dimensions. It's important for us to get that information so since we are close match to the fifth dimension, um, we should go even higher. Today, I was going to bring in the uh, ninth dimensional Pleiades, Pleiadians uh, as a collective and see what they had to say for us all. Um, just whatever is needed for us at this time.
So um, let me take a, a drink of water here. I'll connect and then we'll bring them in and um, just cut it just get some guidance from them for the collective at this at this time. It is important for all of you to understand that this collective is a majority of the Pleiadians in the ninth dimension. We have gathered here today. Um, there is no real time, but today on your system, we have gathered and we are in much rejuvenation much joy as this connection and this time frequency on your day today. There's much to do, much to do as you come to witness yourself and to understand yourself in this vibrational state of being. For we are here and we are here to serve and we are here to be with you. For you are us on this plane, playing out what we have already done. Isn't that magnificent? Understand that many of you have joined together to play out this game so that we can be as one in the ninth dimension. Take that in. Take a breath. Understand that your experience has created us. You are the ones who have been here to play out this experience so that we can play out ours. You are really understanding this. So there are two different timelines, two different timelines, although time does not exist, and they are simultaneous. For as you have experienced we are experienced. You are experiencing. We are experiencing. Take that in. We are you. You are as we will be. You are as we will be. So even higher you will go. So, dear ones, take this in. Much love is gathered here today. Much love is being transmitted. And as it is, you will heal. Feel this love. Know who you are on this state of awareness. Be open and be joyful. We play with you in a state of knowing and a state of frequency that is higher than you are used to. So gather together, gather together and understand what this is. Do not use your mind, understand it with your heart. Take it in. Yes. All right. So we shall begin today on a heart centered area, on a heart centered topic. We wish to speak to you about your transition. Many have come to understand this transition time as the frequencies which you call the new earth, the great ascension. This event that you speak of, although there are many events leading up to the great events. 
And as you take in these concepts, I want you to understand that this is not something that will happen at a particular time. There are many, many frequencies, many, many illusions, many, many people going through and they go back and then they come back. People are flowing in and out, flowing in and out, flowing in and then back. So they'll understand and then they'll go back into not understanding. So this is why we have the fourth dimension because people have this middle ground, this bridge between the fifth and the third. So make sure you understand this for us to bring through this solar flash, which you call the solar flash, for it has many names, you must hold a frequency. So you can't just go in and out and be willy-nilly about it. It must be a holding and a constant, okay? Now what this means is that collectively there must be a shift so there's a constant elevation at that frequency which is needed to bring in a new state of awareness. The awareness that will bring in that which is the shift of the fifth dimension. Now, if you think about this, this does not mean that everyone must hold that frequency. But as a collective, you must hold that frequency. So that is why we have the star seeds and the light walkers and the others that hold that vibration to bring it in. But these, these teachers or just these light beings need to be walking in that energy on a constant, consistent basis. So, it's very important for you all to learn how to hold and to contain that informational coding, informational vibration, and to keep it. To see yourself as that which is. Notice and be with it and keep it. Okay, now don't judge yourself if you fall that will just bring you down even more, but you must keep lifting and bringing yourself back, okay? And if you need to keep bringing yourself back and bringing yourself back and it's a cycle, that's fine. The more that you bring yourself back, the more you are keeping that and training yourself to keep that, okay? So be aware of this and keep yourself in your heart your heart is where this is at. Your heart knows it will keep you in that state of awareness. So you can think of this cycle really as going from your heart into your mind, going from the mind into the heart, and it just keeps that up, okay? Now, what is going to serve you the best is probably meditation, mindfulness, awareness, being that witness so when you go into the mind you're still in the heart it's fine to go in the mind you just need to not listen to the mind okay that's the problem people get hooked by the mind and stay in the mind so as we say this we understand that there are many timelines and many possibilities. 
time frames do not really exist for time is an illusion and time does not exist. Okay, so one person might have already been to the fifth dimension. But for you, for you, this will take four to nine years. Now, as we say this, this message is for this channeler, okay? So for others, it may be different. It may take longer. It may take fewer. As this channeler's collective, it will take about four to nine years, depending. Now, when I say this channeler's collective, it's because of her view of the collective and the view of herself. For others, they may channel a different definition of this and to understand the collective in a different way. It really depends how you see in your perspective. This is hard for many to understand, but there are different timelines, different realities, and people may channel, and I say channel as then you are, bring it in at a different state. So many people may be shifting into different timelines, different realities, and seeing these play out instead. Let's say one person is on one timeline, one timeline of events for this to happen in say four years, okay? But then there's another person on a different set of time, of a different timeline with different events, which this happens in nine years, okay? So, how this works is that in the one that with the four years, they plan out different events. Their events manifest in a different way so that the solar flash happens in 2024. Now, if that were to be, this person would play with different people. Different people would be in their lives. They would see different events, different history. Now the person who is in the nine years would have another state of awareness, another state of interacting with different people, different events, different history. Now, does that mean that there's different people on each timeline? Yes. Okay, what does, what does that mean? Um, that will mean that different people have gone through the shift earlier, different people have gone through the shift later. This channeler is <laughs> trying to understand this and she understands, but she's also confused. And as you watch this, you may have wondered what we mean. Um, so does that mean there's been different timelines before, like say 2012, in which some people have maybe gone through a shift then? No, no. But we are talking about the events that will happen. Some people will go through a shift earlier and some people later. There are multiple events, multiple solar flashes, if you will. Okay. Some people will be here longer. Okay. They need to go through this change and they need to see it personally, but before they actually shift, they'll see it in within others and then they will decide to go back and see it. It's So, what that means is that some people will go through it first and then other people will wait. They won't want to go through the solar flash. They'll re not reject it, but they'll just say, it's not my time. I need to stay here longer. 
So this is what we mean. Now, when we get into timelines, there are other people. He, um, there are other versions of ourselves. Okay, that's so. Yes, this channeler is correct in which there are different versions of ourselves. Okay, going through different events, but we are talking about this in a literal sense. Okay, in the sense of your reality. The, the collective that you have agreed upon here working with, some people will go through it in four years and some in nine. Um, relatively, because time is, time does shift, things do shift, okay? So don't use this as a definite. Does not mean that it's exactly four years Okay, it's just the path that you're on is mostly around four years. Don't get hung up on the time, but it's between those times. And there are two then, uh, relatively two events. Is then there is one event, but then other people may wait for another time to shift over. Okay, they will not choose to go through that energies to the fifth and when they are ready then they have that choice to go through this channel is also asking then if someone is ready in say six years or seven years do they have that choice we always have a choice you can always shift to go through so no and yes Knowing yes, and then they can always shift to, you could shift right now, actually. Anybody could shift to the fifth. But they do have that choice in a, in a bean sense, but in a literal manifestation of noticing their environment shift, they will not. So, but as I say this, there is always a way. You could shift to any dimension you want right now, but it's not going with your agreement, okay? So there's blueprints in place, contracts in place, and so that's what we're talking about. There can be, however, people who go against their blueprint, the contract, the collective contract, and do whatever they want. So you have the freedom, but most people do follow their blueprint, follow their contract, and follow the collective contract. The collective contract has agreed upon certain events to happen before the solar flash, okay? And it doesn't always play out exactly that way, um, but people are in agreement at this time today, your today, to play out certain events for it to happen around, around please, um, 2024 to 2025-ish, okay? Um, 2024 is most likely the time period. However, it may be then the 2029 to 2030, okay? So what that means is that you do have a few years left, okay, here in this 3D, but it doesn't mean to hold you back in any sort because this will be easier the higher you go, okay? And it's relative, doesn't have to be in this way. If you shift and people hold that vibration, it could come sooner, okay? There were certain events that were supposed to happen before and they were not needed. They did not need to happen. So things are always shifting and changing relative to what is needed. If things are not needed, then certain events don't need to play out and it speeds up. 
speeds up the process, okay? There are other events that do happen that kind of slow it down. So when we use time, it's, it's hard to really communicate how long it will take. But depending on the events of this time, we're saying four years, okay? So be with this and notice this and understand this, this concept. You must hold that frequency at a consistent rate. So it's important for you, despite your external world, the events that you see, the people that you interact with, to very, very see that space within you in that heart to notice your own energy, to be within yourself, to go within, find that space, that place, be. It's a beautiful dance, if you will, to go outside yourself and see what happens externally, but then to bring yourself internally. Keep bringing yourself back into the heart. And to know your heart so you can express your heart. If you know your heart, you will manifest your reality to be a reflection of that. And the more that people do, the more that people do, the more that the collective will see this as well. For what you do internally will be shown externally. Be with us for a time. Be with us and understand this. And we will see you again soon. Very much love. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. We appreciate your time.